Um, and harvest the rest? Yeah. You harvest in the fall or you harvest and try to harvest twice a year or what you harvest in? July. June and July. Um, you don't try to harvest again then back day. in October or whatever. Uh, yeah. What's that special day on June 10th, they call it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about my target date. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Like, we get on Aprilish. Okay, so am I basically, as I add the supers and everything, and then we're not going to do anything until next July for getting honey? Or we're leaving it all with them? Uh, on your... Um, I don't really completely understand the question. You the question to... she's asking is this. You just gave her, you just said, I'm only harvesting once a year. Uh -huh. And she's saying, okay, I get them in April. Should I wait a full year before I harvest? Yeah, whatever I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. You know, this is your first year, Lana. And look, um, right. if you have any, you know, I'm really busy. But, you know, you can call me and, and ask me, you know, talk to me and I'll answer your questions okay. and kind of guide you along. Because you're an orange and i got a lot of beekeeping, okay. a lot of bees in Orange County. Yeah. Okay, great. You know, uh -huh. I just don't want Mr. Adams thinking that I was talking to his wife. Or, uh, <laughs> uh, well, let, let me ask you something. It's probably a question you're going to have too later on. If, uh, of course, I'm some distance from y'all. Mm -hmm. but, but we were talking about the extractors. You know, once you get those mm -hmm. frames out of there, you got to get the honey out to frames. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and some of that expense, uh, equipment can get yeah, but, quite but see, pricey depending on the size you get. Can y'all like join together and everybody go in and get an extractor or can they bring you frames and you extract their honey for them or how, how would all that work when it comes time for the harvest here? Well if you go through your catalog you can get like what you call a little he a heating knife. Yeah. It heats mm -hmm. up the electric plug and then you cut pretty much just shaving the, the cappings right. off. Okay. See the capping? You just do the cappings. Yeah. Or some people with the honey, they, they'll um, cut it all out and mash it out. But you have a little, little thing that spins around. Yeah. You know, and those, those are 50, yes, they're future. Those are pretty cheap these days. I mean. For like one frame at a time, huh? I mean. Yeah. You know, and I bet you anything, if, if, if y'all want equipment, y'all, you're interested and comfortable with the bees, you can get on southeasttexas.com and say looking for bee equipment and some beekeeper that like this blacksmith out there he was saying yeah when i die my kids don't want this yeah. well yeah. you know how many people people I, have this stuff in their garage because you used to buy beekeeping equipment in Seal, sears and buck sears and Robert. yeah that was old school but are you, for, are you familiar with keith hawkins in the Beauregard parish uh, over in the red or the snitching agent over there no, sir. He, he's kind of organized Southwest Louisiana there, big keepers and trying to, you know, get people. Yeah, that's get another going. thing. They have one. They have a. Um, they have a group in um, Lufkin, I believe, okay. Beekeepers Association, maybe in Louisiana. They used to have one down here, but this hurricane wiped us all out. Yeah. But he said most of the hides over there. He said even though we got hit real hard with three to over on that size too, he said most of them, the weight and the way they're designed. They, they didn't have too many problems with the hives over there for reading. Mm. Well, most of them have all theirs on four by four pallets because mm -hmm. they do forklifts. Situation like mine being in Orange County, I had them lined up, and so. it, it's called the domino effect. Mm. Yeah. And then um, y'all's government, well, mine too, <laughs> uh, they come and all my bees were tumped over. All I had to do is go to my yards and set them back, right? Mm. Couldn't do that because there was a pine tree blocking my drive. Well, y'all were here in Rita. Mm -hmm. all, and um, so I'm driving up there. I'm out working my yard. I look up and there's this plane coming down at the tip of the tree, dropping insecticide to kill mosquitoes. Oh. All my bees were exposed, all 650 hives. And um, as the, um, the people in Louisiana that were living in a shack, this new house was getting built because of our wonderful government distributing the money. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like to go there. I'm starving to death because I done lost my whole livelihood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, but I mean, that's another. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing too, uh, painting. Uh, if, if we go through you there, will they already be painted? And is there a preference in, I'm in not, the color of the you, hive? You're not, going, you're, not, you're not going through me. Oh. I can't sell no more bees this year. Oh. You know, I mean, I would love to and everything, but I'm, I cut off. I sold my. I sold thirty hives, and that's the. You know, you know, somebody might cancel out. They had a lady that canceled out. 
I'll get um I'll get my number. Would you be ready to go April first? Probably with two hives worth. Yeah. Good possibility. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, uh, look, this is all you need to get started. Don't don't go out and spend like get you a veil. You got a long sleeve shirt? Got one on. Okay. You guys be white. Don't be wearing no. black, they'll think you're a grizzly bear. <laughs> 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 that and a hive tool, you know, four or five dollars. Right. This shirt cover, a smoker. Get you a smaller smoker, it'd be about twenty-five dollars. And uh that and then you got your whole setup right there and you're good to go. And if um you take me out to eat Louisiana, I answer any question you want to do. You're talking every first must have a crawfish season, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm gonna do Okay, Lana. Thanks. Right. I'll see you later. Okay, girl.